Hi everyone, it's Scott here from the Canadian Retail Solutions Business Team. Today I wanted to talk about employees and leadership. I was really reminded by a, uh, a blog uh, that was I read yesterday from a, um, a business coach and psychologist that I really respect by the name of Todd Linneman, Dr. Todd Linneman. And he talked about uh, you know the, the key points to retaining employees and, and it really made me think about uh, the experiences that I've had and, and really um, because I love acronyms I wanted to kind of put together something that, that uses the points that Dr. Linneman had, uh, um, you know, had brought up in terms of retention. Retention is a, a really significant issue in retail these days you know like the level of, of service and quality that we provide to our customers is is so determined by um, how you know proficient our staff are how experienced they are and, and how motivated they are as well so I wanted to put together something uh, that, that hopefully will stick in our minds in terms of you know the, the key points to to leadership and and what I focus on and what I've always found to be most successful in leadership is a is a service mentality or a servant leadership you know, servant leadership is, uh, um, I believe, uh, the, the key to motivating retail staff to getting them excited about wanting to work for you. And I put together an acronym uh, in servant, servant. So uh, um, in, 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 the, in the word servant, I have S, S being service above self. Service above self is something that I've, I've learned, um, you know, from, from a great partner and, and the owner of Canadian Retail Solutions who lives by the philosophy, has built that philosophy into the mission of Canadian Retail Solutions as well. Service above self, a servant leader focuses primarily on the growth of the people and the well-being of the people in his or her organization focuses primarily on that. You know, I think that's a really key key thing to think about is what are your motivations behind the the leadership that you provide? Are you truly a servant to the people to the uh, focused on the well-being of the people that work for you? Um, e in service is empowerment, empowering and staying out of their way. Dr. Linneman talks about, um, you know, being empowering your staff and staying out of their way. I couldn't uh, emphasize that higher. Um, empowering and trusting your staff. Some of the most effective retail leaders that I've worked with in my life trust their employees empower them to take control of the job, give them that responsibility and show them that trust and that care. Uh, very difficult, can be very challenging at times to, to give up that power yourself. You have to relinquish that, but it's important to do so. R in servant, servant is for reward. Reward your stuff. Obviously, you've got to pay your people effectively. You know, I was funny, I was just uh, in a small town recently, and I saw a uh, you know a picketing group of employees that were that were um, uh, picketing for a livable wage, just for a livable wage. You know, like we need to to remember that being in business, it's key for us. And I understand, like we all understand that there's a, a very fine balance between profitability uh, and what we can pay our employees, but we need to make sure that we're, we're rewarding them correctly. We're making sure that they're looked after, not only a livable wage, but being recognized for what they do. V in servant is, is value. You know, to acknowledge the value of your employees, to acknowledge their achievements, uh, to, to make sure that it's, you know, it's be deliberate about acknowledging your staff. You know, don't make it something that just comes up for a time when you see something that obviously happens that everybody recognizes. Be deliberate about showing and, 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 and valuing them and, and make sure that you, you kind of outwardly um, recognize those achievements. A for attention. Uh, be present. Be present and listen to your staff. You know, like attention, you know, we're in, in such a world of being in front of phones and being, you know, multitasking, uh, tasking with, with, with so many different things on our plates. Sometimes it's difficult to just be in that moment uh, and listen and really pay attention to your staff. And I think that that's a very key point, that when they know that they, they need to come to you, that you're going to give them your attention. You know, we learn it as parents as well, that we have to be present, and, and it's the same with our employees. N in servant is no. No should be a last resort. Now, I always, you know, because no is such a harsh word. Uh, when, when we're dealing with our staff, when we're looking at, uh, you know, detecting and correcting issues that we have to do, we have to make sure that they're, you know, that they're following the protocols and they're giving the levels of service. But, but you know, 
remember that no is a harsh word. Remember that there's, there's ways to approach a conversation, there's ways to approach and motivate your staff without giving them a direct no. Sometimes it's more important to allow your people to fail and get up and try again than it is to say no before they've even attempted it. You know, falling up is a concept that's talked about by Sean Acor as a, a, in The Happiness Advantage, where it's just, um, you know, you, you fall over, you fail to get better, to succeed, to move up and up and up. And the final, uh, the, the letter T in the word servant is transparency. Be transparent, share your vision, share your mission, and share your passion. Show openly that you care about the business, show openly about who you are and what you do and share in that. Be transparent about your concerns, but also about your passion and your strength and your vision. Make sure that your staff understand your vision. Servant leadership. So being a servant, service above self, empowering your staff, rewarding your staff, valuing your staff, uh, paying attention to your staff, making no a consideration or considering no before you actually go there and being transparent. You know, I think that this, the, the, the philosophy of servant leadership is a very powerful one in retail. Have a great day.